Around the world, chronic diseases affect women and men almost equally. Today, I'm going to be talking about two of them, measles and polio. Chronic diseases are responsible for 60% of all deaths worldwide. Today, I'm going to be starting with measles and then I'll go on to polio. Measles, also known as rubiola, is a virus. There is no specific treatment for this virus, but if you do get this disease, stay away from people, drink lots of water and liquids, and rest. Even though it is rare in the US, they get around 20 million cases every year worldwide. If you end up getting the measles, you will have flu-like symptoms, like a cough, runny nose, a fever, and red eyes. You will also get a rash. You will not get these symptoms right away. You could have the disease three to five days before you actually get symptoms. Next, I'll be talking about the long-term effects of measles. One of the long-term effects of measles is pneumonia. One in 20 people will get this. In rare cases, you can also die from it. One of the more common things is that one in 10 children will get air infections, which can result in permanent deafness. These are one of the reasons why you should get vaccinated for measles. One in every 1,000 kids will get brain swelling. This can leave the child disabled or deaf. Also, one or two from every 1,000 will die from it. This is very serious and was one of the reasons why you should vaccinate. Next, I'll be talking about how you get the measles. People with the measles are highly contagious. If they breathe on you, cough on you or sneeze on you, you could possibly get the disease. Another way you will get this disease is by shaking hands with someone or opening a doorknob after them. There is a 90% chance you will get this disease if you are not vaccinated for the measles. Measles is so contagious that you can pass it on to other people before showing any symptoms. The chance of you getting the measles today is 3 out of 100 people. This is very low due to the vaccination creation against the measles. There is still a 90% chance that you might get this disease if you are not immunised. Now I'm going to be talking about the death rates of the measles. In 2015, there are about 134,000 deaths, which is about 367 every day. But today, the overall death rate is 1 in 2 in every 1,000. This is low again due to the vaccination creation. Next, I'll be talking about the vaccinations. The measles vaccination, also known as the MMR, is not compulsory but is recommended because it is good for your health. You get two doses of the MMR vaccine. The first one is between ages 12 and 15 months and the second one is between 4 to 6 years. Teens and adults should also keep updated with their vaccinations. In 1963, John Enders and colleagues transformed their strand of measles into a vaccine and licensed it into the United States. In 1968, an improved version of the measles vaccine was developed by Maurice Hilleman and colleagues and became distributed around the United States. In 2014, the U.S. experienced 23 measles outbreaks, including one large outbreak of 383 cases, mostly people who were unvaccinated. There were many more deaths and outbreaks from the measles, but this was by far one of the biggest ones that happened most recently. Now I'm going to be starting to talk about polio. Polio is also known as the polio virus. It is obviously a virus from its name. It is a potentially deadly and crippling disease. It will affect many things about the person and that can cause paralysis. Now I'm going to be talking about the signs and symptoms of polio. If you get the virus, only 72 out of 100 people will have visible symptoms. The rest will have symptoms that are more serious. You will have flu-like symptoms like sore throat, fever, headache, tiredness, nausea and stomach pain. Next will be the long-term effects of polio. Long-term effects of polio are, of course, paralysis, paresia, aka feelings of pins and needles in arms and legs, and meningitis, infections causing brain and or spinal cord infection. 1 in 25 people get meningitis and 1 in 200 will get paralysis. Now we'll be talking about how you get polio. Polio spreads through feces, aka poo and saliva. It is a very contagious disease and spread through contact from person to person. It lives in a person's throat and intestines and spreads through the mouth and feces. You can get it if you have feces on your hands and touch your mouth 
or a less common way is if someone sneezes or coughs on you and sprays droplets. The chance of you getting polio today is very low. The United States has been polio free for almost 30 years. The last reported case in New Zealand was around 1999 and that was only one case. This is mainly from the creation of vaccines keeping people from getting polio. Now I'll be talking about the death rates of polio. Today the death rate for polio is 2-5% to for children, 15-30% to for adults depending on their age, but it increases to 25-75% to with bulbar involvement, aka things inv affecting the brain, spinal cord or both, and also signs of paralysis. In total you get 4 doses of IPV, aka the polio vaccine. You get it when you are 2 months, 4 months, 6 to 18 months and a booster dose when you are 4 to 6. The vaccine is not required but is highly recommended to keep you safe from polio. They do this at a young age to prevent you from getting it when you are an adult. The first polio vaccine was called the inactivated polio vaccine. It was developed by Jonas Salk and came into use in 1955. The oral polio vaccine was developed by Albert Sabin and came into commercial use in 1961. By 1951, Jonas Salk had found a way to kill polio. In 1949, there were 2,720 deaths in the United States and 42,000 cases in Canada and the United Kingdom. Two years before the vaccine was available, there were more than 45,000 deaths per year, but that number had dropped to 910. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about the measles or polio.